There are a bunch of different names for Rosh Hashanah. There's Rosh Hashanah, the new year, but it's not called that in the Torah. In the Torah, it's called Yom Truah, the day of sounding the shofar, or Yom Zichron Truah, the day of remembering the sounding of the shofar. The, there's the birthday of the world, we call it. There is the, it's called Yom Hadin in the High Holiday Prayer Book in the Machsor, uh, the day of judgment. And it's called Yom HaZikaron in the Kiddush that we say as Rosh Hashanah begins. And in the central prayer of the Amidah, it's called Yom HaZikaron, the day of remembrance. And the idea seems to be that God is recalling our deeds, but also, of course, we recall our own deeds. And we look over the last year. We can look forward into the year to come, but we're bad at predicting the future. We really can benefit from looking back, seeing what we did wrong, reassessing, and trying to set a better course. We do that sometimes through making a story of what happened to us. This is linked to where we're at in the Torah. Moshe, Moses is at the end of his life, and he's telling the people what, uh, what's ahead for them. And he does that by telling them stories of what happened. But the way he tells those stories are different sometimes than what the Torah said earlier, meaning he's fashioning memory, selective memories, try and make sure that the people have a strong sense of what they can accomplish and what they should feel at different times. Micha Goodman, in his commentary on Deuteronomy, Moses' last words, writes, Every nation tells itself stories about the past, and these foundational narratives serve to shape national identity and character. This is true for, well, everyone. You can think of it for America, and you can also think of it for the nation of Israel. Goodman continues, but not every nation uses its stories as a remedy for psychological imbalance. That's what's so novel about Moshe's approach to the selective fashioning of memories. The story of slavery should be told in a period of dominance. The story of being dependent on God in the wilderness should be told in periods of success. The story of the miraculous victories should be told in a time of a national fear. The stories of sin should be told in a times of moral righteousness. The right story at the right time serves to create the proper national balance. Meaning, Moses says, when you're feeling strong, remember that you were weak. When you're see, feeling weak, remember that you once triumphed over people stronger than you. When you're feeling afraid, remind yourself that God is on your side. And when you're feeling superior, remember that it wasn't just you alone that accomplished any of this. There's a sense of having balance. And... As we hit Rosh Hashanah, we can remember where we've been, try and hit a better balance for the year to come, and use our memories to create stories that will help us achieve that balance. Shabbat Shalom and Shana Tovah.